Now, several weeks ago, I had mentioned how a local Christian charity in my area came under fire for its stance on biblical morality. It created quite a social media firestorm with hundreds and hundreds of angry comments, people accusing this Christian charity of promoting hatred and intolerance. Obviously, the commenters not first looking in the mirror themselves. But clearly, the biggest palm to the forehead comment was when someone actually said, why couldn't this Christian charity just help people without that, quote, religious crap? Well, in this short video, I want to take a historical plunge and look at how that so-called religious crap radically redefined compassion and charity. Now, without doubt, Christianity hasn't been the only religion throughout history which has advocated a concern for the poor, the disadvantaged, and the sick. That being said, however, as many historians point out, it stands head and shoulders above all the others, and how its radical egalitarian ethos redefined compassion and charity throughout the ancient world. You see, in the ancient Greco-Roman world where Christianity first began, power and strength were glorified, whereas compassion and mercy were viewed as weakness, where tragedy was viewed as punishment from the angry gods, and well, for the sufferer, sucks to be them, they obviously deserved it. But then along came Jesus, who preached the exact opposite, who preached that weakness was actually strength. You simply can't read the Gospels, you can't read the teachings of Jesus without realizing his immense concern for the poor and the disadvantaged and the sick. He preached, blessed are the merciful, blessed are the poor. He said to his followers that how they treated the least in society was ultimately how they treated him. Furthermore, Jesus preached a radical new concept of God, that God was our heavenly father. He was personable. He actually cared about the plight of humanity. In sharp contrast to the gods of the Romans and the Greeks, who were often fickle and cruel and just didn't care. Jesus preached that his followers were basically the physical hands of God here on this earth. Now, perhaps for some of you watching this video right now, you may not believe in a personal God, you may not even believe in a God at all. And yet what you need to realize is that the early Christians did, and it caused them to do some pretty amazing things. For example, when plagues would ravage the Roman Empire, and the pagans would leave their loved ones who had contracted the plague, left them to die, the early Christians would go and tend to the dying to comfort them and thereby they themselves would contract the plague and die. They were willing to die in the name of compassion, and it simply dumbfounded many in the ancient world. Now again, let me be clear. I'm not saying that other religions don't advocate for various forms of charity. I'm just saying that there's really no comparison between them and Christianity. I mean, think of Islam with its basic fatalistic outlook upon life where things are determined by the will of Allah and there's not much you can do about it. Or reincarnation of the Buddhists and the Hindus, that essentially your lot in this life has already been determined supposedly by how you lived in the previous life. With the caste system of Hinduism, if you're at the bottom rung, if you're the poorest of the poor, if you're what's known as a Dalet, then obviously you were an evil person in your previous life and you justly deserve what you're getting right now in this life. All of that is completely antithetical to the teachings of Jesus Christ. And that's why whenever there are natural disasters or what have you around the globe, nine times out of 10, it's Christian relief agencies who are rushing in to help rather than Islamic or Hindu ones. So you see, that so-called religious crap. It's the DNA, it's the lifeblood of Christianity. It's not something that you can separate. And that so-called religious crap, it redefined compassion and charity in the ancient world. And our world is all the better for it. 